Okay, we're here with Angela Derodier, senior at Brockton High School. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you're submitting for this year's art show at Brockton High? Sure, within AP Studio Arts, we had the opportunity to focus on 12 pieces of concentration and 12 breaths. Um, concentrations focus on a specific topic that is very dear to our heart and breaths demonstrates our skills. Within all these pieces over here, these are all concentration pieces. So they all demonstrate my concentration theme, which is self-confidence, self-determination, and in light of negativity. They are demonstrated in a way of color, through light, through body position, through facial expressions. Um, for example, this is one of my friends who um, we know about the policy called DECA, and mm -hmm. um, it has caused limitations to be placed on students at the school um, to achieve their goal. Um, so I used her position and her goal within the graduation cap, um, the colors representing her flag, and she's faced the darkness, kind of not being afraid of this negativity mm -hmm. and um, what America has put on her. It's not a limitation, she has a goal for it. Same thing can be applied here. There's this light and mood where her eyes are big and she is not afraid of um, seeing her future goals. She has a goal set in front of her and that's okay. Um, also, same thing with this painting. Um, he feels confident, he's happy, he's smiling. He has this sort of smirk in his face. Even though the first thing people see are his acne scars, that's not letting him down. And I think that's a common um, insecurity of teenagers where they think that their body is causing negative thoughts and you know that can be negative at times. The other two are also drawing this water painting. Um, similar to this, I played with color composition. She's facing away from the dark blues, which represent negativity, and she's facing towards light. Same thing with this. Within her face, these two are very similar. Within their face, you can kind of see a geographical pattern, which represents that you don't really know where she's from, but she's from somewhere, but she's happy, she's oh. confident. And I think that I represent that real well with um, the darkening of the face. And the last one right here, who happens to be more personal to me, he is my father. He has came here in America as an immigrant. So um, he's worked hard and stressed a lot, but throughout the wrinkles in his face, although they are very dark and you can obviously see them, he has this light kind of seeping through and that's his vision. He sees everything in a light and positive way. So I think my pieces all represent this idea of being confident, being happy, having determination. When things that aren't so subtly negative are very negative around you, and it could be the little things from your job to a big government policy, such as um, the limitations being placed on DACA students. So a lot of meaning in your portraits here. Yes. In, uh, you mentioned one was your father. The, all these people you know, uh, these portraits? Yes, so these, this one is a portrait of myself a couple years ago. This one's also of myself throughout the summer. Um, the way I do the details are based on the way that light and shadow reflects. All these three are students and classmates that I've known that I personally talk to and ask for permission to um, paint them. And other pieces of concentration involve myself and, and any of my friends or family members. Um, I try not to use outside references. I try to focus on images that I've taken. So all these, those four are pictures that I've taken. Um, these two are pictures that were handed to me. So this is like a senior picture and this one was from his phone. So mm -hmm. I was just able to interpret it and even add my own little touch where even here you can see the background being blurry and the focus is just on him to achieve my point. All right. Well, congratulations and good luck with the art show. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. All right. Can you tell us about some of your work here and how do you feel about uh, the art show coming up? Um, I think the art show is a really nice thing for um, a lot of students here because it gets people to like um, come out and like show stuff that they normally wouldn't. So usually we're like in the art room and we're just kind of working on things, but people don't really get to see what we're doing. So this is a good way to just exhibit it through like the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Um, so what I'm working on, I'm trying to do like some more realistic painting, uh, like paintings or drawings, um, trying to implement like a meaning of like, um, uh, like indulgence or something, but, um, just exploring different mediums, so like colored pencil, like oil paintings, um, but yeah, it's a really good like, um, environment to work in with everybody and like the classroom and everything. Have you been, uh, studying art? throughout your time in Brockton Public Schools, or what can you tell us about um, yes. uh, how you've been able to learn art throughout your life? Yeah, so 
I didn't really like get interested in a lot until like middle school. Um, Here in Brockton? Yeah. So I was at Pluff and I had an art teacher that was really like um, good with introducing us to new ideas and how to um, explore it like um, mm -hmm. on paper and stuff. So I think that exposed me more to it and then I started taking it kind of seriously. Um, but yeah, I've been doing it for a long time. So. And now you're in AP art, right. right? So are you being exposed to different techniques or what do you learn uh, when you attend uh, AP art class in Brockton High? So what we really focus on is we have a concentration and a breadth. So it's two parts of a portfolio that we submit. And so the first part is a, around like a theme. And so for the theme, they really want you to like explore something that means something to you or explore something that you think is um, other people can think about or relate to in some way. Um, so really the whole year we focus on making pieces that connect to a theme that um, can be viewed together in like a cohesive idea. All right, thank you very much for your time and uh, good luck with the art show. All right, thank you. Okay, we're here with Anna and Amarado at Brockton High School. She's a senior here. She's having a few pieces of art entered into the art show uh, coming up. Can you tell us a little bit about your work and what it's like working on art here at Brockton High School? It is great working here. I have really been able to develop my art skills, especially in ceramics. This piece was based on friendship. I think um, you said you were given a quote to work with and it, the topic was friendship and this is what you produced? Yes. All right, so that's made with ceramics. How did you do that? How long did it take to make? Um, it took me about a month to build it and another month to like color it, paint it in. Um, I built it up with coils and it's hollow from the inside. And then I closed off the top. Um, is there a way you could hold that up or is it uh, too dangerous? Great, wow. So how long did that take you? About two months. About two months? Yes. Okay. And so you did that this year? Yes. What else can you show us here? Um, this one. This is more ceramic? Yes. <laughs> and what can you tell us about this piece? How long did it take you and what was the thought behind it? This, was all, this also took me about two months. I, I thought about immigrants and how the walls that are built up for them and the struggles and these black coils represent the pain that they go through right and I left it open at the top as a representation that they can always overcome these hardships Wow so you're a senior now um, yes any plans to continue uh, being an art student in the future yes I I want to take more art classes in college and I'm thinking about majoring in architecture or civil engineering. All right, well congratulations on these works and good luck with the art show. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Okay, we're here with Devon Houston, senior at Brockton High School. Can you tell us a little bit about your entries for the annual art show? Sure, sure. So... You're a photographer. This, yeah, I'm a photographer. I love taking pictures. This one right here was one of the first set of photos that I took. I just had six period off and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go outside and take some pictures. So this one is actually a light that's right around the corner from the school. I decided to zoom in. I really like the color of the rust on the pole and the, the blue background as just this is just standing right in the middle of it. And I love that photo. Those are among the first photos that I took where I really decided, you know what, I really want to do this. Mm -hmm. So then this second one, the idea literally just popped in my head to use three rolls of tape and put an object at the end of it. And really, I find all the objects I take pictures of, like I found this flower just in class, just randomly. So I decided to put this at the end. I have a black background behind it, and I have natural light coming from above just to accent the petals on the end. So like you said, it's a flower seen through rolls of tape. Yep, just three rolls of tape. Wow. And I really like the words of the rolls of tape as it's going around just to get that flower right in the middle and I love that. And if we move on to the last mm -hmm. photo, this was probably like last month when we were getting those random snow. Yep. It would come at random times. Me and my sister had missed the bus. 
So we're just waiting for it to come, like another bus to come back around. And then, it, as it was raining snow on us early in the morning, I just happened to look at her eyebrows, or her eyelashes. And I was like, that looks kind of cool. Let me take a photo of that real quick. So I had her angle her face. I like the line that I have and how it's a little bit out of focus so that people really focus on the drops on the, eye, on the eyelashes. So I really loved like how that one came out. I literally just looked at her eyebrows, no, her eyelashes. And I just thought it looked great. It looked amazing. So is this someone you know? It's my sister. Oh, right. It's your sister. I'm sorry. Yeah. Great. Well, great work. Um, what is it like to study photography here at Brockton High? What, what, did they, um, what is the instruction like, if you can give our viewers any idea? Uh, it's really like, it's really fun. Like, she has us do crazy ideas that she came up with. For example, like having vases full of water and dropping dye in them and watching how the dye reacts with the water and how it like, disperses everywhere. She, just, she gives us really crazy projects, and they also they all come out looking amazing. So Thanks. yeah, it's really it's really great. All right, well, good luck with the art show. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.